What's going on, YouTube? This is Ricky J, and welcome to the 2000 Royal Rumble. Man, we are going to be putting the exact same wrestlers in the exact same positions and replaying this Rumble. And let's see how things go down, man. Holy cow. This was uh, a very bizarre Rumble. It was very entertaining, especially in the beginning. There was kind of a lull in the middle. And then it really picked up at the end. Um, the finish was absolutely incredible, man. Seeing The Rock withstanding the Big Show's elimination attempt and being able to grab the ropes and allowing the Big Show's momentum to go forward and get eliminated was absolutely incredible, man. That's one take. If they botched that, it would have been a disaster. But that was just... Th you got to really show a lot of love and respect to these guys, man, because they are doing things live. There are no edits. And if you haven't seen that elimination by The Rock on the big show, you got to go check it out. We got D'Lo Brown coming in at one. Now look at D'Lo Brown. How come he's not doing the neck action? <laughs> the old head movement. <laughs> Walk it in. But um, I got to say, in this rumble, um, I'm going to fast forward this intro just because I'm always worried that this is going to be such a long video. And, um, man, we got to get things rock and rolling. But I felt bad for Kane. Kane never got eliminated out of this Royal Rumble, brother. He never got eliminated. X-Pac got eliminated, and then he came back and jumped in the ring. They shouldn't have allowed that. And he eliminated Kane. Here's Grandmaster Sexay. <laughs> Grand Master Sexy. Isn't he the son of uh, Jerry the King Lawler? Uh, yeah, let me know. Am I right on that? But let's get things rocking and rolling. Let's get right to it, man. I'm ready. I'm pumped up, ready to go. But um, this Royal Rumble, I got to tell you, was very bizarre and in a good way because Rikishi, there was a moment, Rikishi and the Grand Master Sexy. I like how they call him Sexy. And Scotty Tuhati were the only three in the ring. And then they busted out into a dance move. And it was so cool because in the arena, they dimmed the lights <laughs> and put the spotlight on them. And during the rumble, they were dancing. And then when they were through with it, Rikishi eliminated them both. Here comes Mosh. And when Mosh came in, all I got to say, man, he was wearing a little bizarre outfit that was um, throwing off everybody in the arena. <laughs> what was he thinking? <laughs> With the torpedoes on his chest there. But anyhow, Mosh rolling in. Grandmaster with a good job countering from the corner. Let's see what's going to happen right here. Oh, big boot. And now coming in at four, Toronto Zone. A guy that I met, Christian. Love Christian, man. Christian um, didn't really last very long in this Royal Rumble. He only lasted two minutes. And Christian rolling in with a Russian leg sweep on D'Lo Brown. And D'Lo Brown, look at D'Lo. Trying to go after the Grandmaster. The Grandmaster with a nice uh, counter elbow. And a knee to the midsection is Mosh. And now, here we go. People went nuts, man. People went nuts when this man came in. And it's Big Daddy Rikishi. Rakishi coming in and I gotta say for his weight class he can move man let's see if Rakishi can repeat the performance that he had back in 2000 where he eliminated one two three four five he eliminated six guys and um, the excitement was taken out of the arena when Rakishi eventually got eliminated Maybe they should have kept him in longer. They should have kept him in right to the bitter end. That would have been incredible to see. So here we go. Who's coming in now? Scotty Tuhati. So we have the three. Are we going to see these three in there doing a little dance? Scotty Tuhati. He's going right after D'Lo Brown. Look at this. The tag team working together. Oh, nice little arm bar there. Oh, nice reversal, reversal Excuse me, there by Christian. And now Christian with a little push kick there on Grandmaster. And now knees, wow. Knee, two knees to the body and one knee up high. Kind of woke him up. And now D'Lo going to the corner. Who's coming in now? Steve Blackman. 
And there was a moment where Rikishi, it was like a one-on-one -on -one match. He was just eliminating everybody. I loved his interaction that he had with Blackman. It looked like Blackman had him. And then Rikishi turned the tide and eliminated him. Steve Blackman was an interesting guy because a lot of hardcore fans just love him. But he had, like, no personality. I guess that was kind of part of his persona. But um, he, was, he had a great physique. A uh, really good athlete with his kicks and his martial arts um, background, but he just had no personality at all. So he didn't really last very long. Here comes Viscera. And Viscera went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rikishi, and Rikishi got the best of him, but it was back and forth. Look at big man Viscera. Oh, Viscera. Oh, here we go. Getting shoved. Wow. It was kind of like a, uh, a little hiccup there <laughs> with the game. <laughs> as Rikishi. Kind of did a little teleportation there. But now Rikishi in the corner. Thinking about, I don't know what. Oh, man. I'm telling you, Christian's on fire here. Christian has come out into this replayed rumble looking for redemption. He didn't look really good, man, in the 2000 rumble. He looked kind of fish out of water. And now he's coming in. Trying to just patch up what he did. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, no. Rikishi, who's outsized in this encounter with Viscera. Maybe done, but a 12-6 to 6 elbow saves him from getting eliminated. And speaking of eliminated, we haven't seen one elimination yet. As the Grandmaster never messed with Steve Blackman. As Blackman, uh-oh, Blackman looks to be in trouble. Mosh doesn't notice it. Mosh doesn't notice it. D'Lo Brown. Oh, wow. Nice job there by D'Lo Brown. And there was a move that Rikishi did in the 2000 Rumble. He did it to a couple of guys. It was so cool how he picked him up like he was going for a power slam. And then he sat down and gave the guy like a, like a shoulder breaker. I don't know what it was, but it was cool. I wonder if you guys know what the move's called for all you hardcore experts out there. But yeah, shoutouts to Rikishi for that performance and he's doing well right here again he just has to watch out for viscera and he has an opportunity so far to stay inside this rumble nice counter forearm uppercut and another one there by christian christian oh nice christian using a little boxing pivoting to his right sending the big man for a ride and now swinging neck breaker executed nicely there so here we go, man. These, the first eight that have jumped into this ring are staying in there for a nice amount of time, man. And in this game, if you didn't know, another guy won't come in until somebody's eliminated after eight have been in. Oh, and there goes Blackman. Gets eliminated by big man Viscera. Now look at Viscera. Oh, Viscera having a, wow, that was interesting. It's like his back tweaked. He was having a tough time. With the Grand Master. Now D'Lo Brown. Oh, D'Lo Brown's momentum. Going forward, looking to strike on Viscera. And he got countered pretty badly. So the timer should start now. As Scotty Tuhati could be in some trouble. Grand Master Sexay could be in trouble. Sweet shit music. He's done. No, he's not done. He is not done. He stays in there. Incredible stuff. And look at Viscera just chilling in the corner. Oh, wow. What a spear there by Viscera. I didn't think he had that in his arsenal. Here we go. The clock's ticking now. The eighth man's going to come in. Who's the ninth man, if you know what I mean. And look at this. Grandmaster is thinking about going after Scotty Too Hot. He doesn't do it. Here comes the big show. Sorry, not the big show. Excuse me. Big boss man. And this is the big boss man all in black. The veteran. Part of the SWAT team. <laughs> Coming in, ready to go. And the big boss man in the 2000 Rumble, he took his time. He was smart. He knew. He noticed how Rikishi was on fire, eliminating everybody coming in. Um, Rikishi kind of would like ambush guys as they were coming in. There goes Scotty Tuhati. But um, the big boss man was smart. He took his time, waited for that third person to jump into the ring before he came in. And good uh, strategy there. And I like seeing that when you're watching these rumbles, I like seeing things like a little bit of strategy, a little bit of drama, 
a little bit of um, things that you've never seen before. And that was cool to see what the big boss man did. <laughs> oh, but now he's in some trouble going up against Viscera. And now Mosh looking to party with Grandmaster. Is he going to get him out of there? Sweet chin music. He's done. Way to go, Grandmaster Sexy. And now he's doing the worm. Thanks to Viscera. And now he's got to be careful. Double axe handle misses by Rikishi as these guys are now slowing down. Yeah, there were some moments in the beginning of, or in the middle of this rumble where their guys were just lying around. People were just punching each other. Here comes Test. 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 This is a test. But yeah. Luckily, things started to pick up. Now, Test, he was in this Royal Rumble, I think, for the longest. 26 long minutes for the big guy. Rest in peace to him. Oh, there goes Grandmaster. Unbelievable. And look at that scoop slam. And it was crazy seeing um, Kane slam the big show. Telling you, the Big Show, isn't he the same size as Andre the Giant? To see Kane do that was a, just an unbelievable sight. And I feel bad for Kane. Why would they, like, I don't know, man. I thought that was silly that they had, here comes the British Bulldog who decided, I didn't make him come in jeans for this one, but in the actual one, he decided to wrestle in jeans. I couldn't make him come in jeans. That was just silly stuff. I think he was just trying to be part of the Attitude Era. But um, why would they have that as part of this rumble to have Kane illegally eliminated and not come back into the rumble? Let me know. That was just I found that very bizarre. But anyway, who is coming in now? Gang Rail. <laughs> and you guys Oh, there goes Tess! Rakishi. And you guys always laugh at how I say his name, but that's just how I say his name, man. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You know that saying, brother? But look at this. Rakishi eliminated Test in the real Rumble, and he eliminated him here today. He's staying in there, but oh, I can't get the elimination again against the big boss, man. So let's see what happens here. Gangrel! The best is when he came in and he drank the blood and tried to do the Triple H outside of the ring. <laughs> then he got in and, uh, oh no, did somebody grab his hair and threw him back in the ring? I can't remember, but. I really enjoyed this rumble only because it was like very different than what we've seen up to this point in wrestling history. Look at this, D'Lo Brown just getting thrown out by the big guy, Viscera with uh, <laughs> unworldly power, I guess you should say. But he is doing great things here. Who's coming in now? Edge, you think you know me. Let's see if Edge and Christian could find a way to work together. And who would have thought that Edge would end up winning two of these as his career went on, as the years went on. But Edge right here, Got to be careful here against the big boss man. And now, look at this. Is he going to help out his old buddy? No, he tried to. But Viscera grabbed him. And the British Bulldog doing squats, baby. And now he uppercuts Edge. And now Gangrel the Brood is inside this ring right now. Oh, no. And Gangrel, he was the leader of the Brood. He's out of there, and there goes the, oh my gosh. And everyone was going nuts for Bob Backlund. Bob Backlund was a surprise entry. And the former champion of the world. This is the move I was telling you about. That was the Rikishi move I was telling you about. What is that called? I love that move. It looks painful. Right on the shoulder. But Bob, oh, belly to belly. Bob Backlund, I was very surprised that People were going nuts for Backlund, but he is um, a historic uh, former champion. As he's coming in, look at this. Now he's going after Rikishi. Trying to eliminate a Rikishi. How about this? What's Rikishi doing? Oh, he misses. Backlund didn't put his contacts in before this one. As he totally botched that. 
allowing Rakishi to survive and there are no second chances and Backlund's gone! What a terrible sequence there for Bob Backlund. He had it. And here comes Y2J. And thinking of um, Jericho here, I think of the New Year's of 2000, man. Everybody thought the world was going to end because the computers did not have uh, a two. Come on, in the thousands column? I don't know. I never thought like the world was going to end, but people were like, oh my gosh, all the systems are going to reset to zero, zero, zero. <laughs> but everything luckily was fine. Here comes Crash Holly. And Crash Holly lasted a while, man. Crash Holly had some moments where he went over the top rope but survived. And his small stature allowed him to stay in there because he's just so agile. You know, very athletic guy. And um, wow. Getting, oh man, just getting pancaked there by the big boss man. And now, the two Canadians there, Christian and Jericho. Jericho's Canadian, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's Canadian. Oh no, Christian. And here comes China. At 17, the ninth wonder of the world. And uh, man, when we saw China in the last one, I'm not gonna spoil it, but she did incredibly well. So let's see if she is going to put forth another great effort here in the 2000 Rumble. She's going right after Edge. She's not wasting any time. China, waiting, looking back. Oh, wow. And her momentum was kind of curved to the left, which allowed her to kind of hit the corner there. And hitting that turnbuckle made her stay inside this Royal Rumble. And look at Rikishi. He's out on his feet. He is out on his feet. Nobody notices him. He's one clothesline away from getting eliminated, but luckily people are preoccupied by other competitors in the ring. Look at Y2J dropping the... What kind of move is that? Here comes Farouk at 18. Uh-oh. Edge may have him. Oh, is China going to help him? See, Edge won't do it here. Edge doesn't have the strength attributes to lift that booty out of there. Oh, nice, and Rikishi stays in there. See, I'm kind of cheering. I am cheering for Rikishi. Just because um, the fans loved him in Madison Square Garden and around the world, and I just wish he stayed in longer. There's another elimination by the big guy. He's got to watch out for Viscera. And now a belly to belly. What a belly to belly that was, and now Edge. No! Wow, Edge got eliminated with his own move. Getting speared to the outside. And how about this, Rikishi? Somebody's got to help him. I don't think he's going to do it. He's strong, but he's outweighed here. He is outweighed. Oh, he's got him over that top rope. Is he going to kick him out? Is he going to kick him out? No way. Viscera survives. Smart job there by Viscera to not give up and to stay in there. Now he's grabbing by the back of the neck. Oh, oh, a little shot to the Hulkamaniacs there by Rikishi, it seemed. What a battle. You got China battling Farouk. Y2J now working on Rikishi. Nice job by Viscera getting out of the way. Big Boss Man is passed out in the middle of the ring. Unbelievable shenanigans. Oh, no, Rikishi's done. China showing why she's in this rumble. How did she take out Rikishi there as the road dog eliminates Viscera? What? Oh my man, this is just, this is wild stuff. Oh, there goes the big boss man. Now we're down to four. Quick eliminations. It's fast and furious here on YouTube. Here we go, nice little slam there. The clock just seems to be rolling. No stalling moments. Here comes Al Snow, let it snow, let it snow. What does everybody want? So Al Snow. Let's see how Al does. I, I really felt like watching Al Snow, he had the charisma. He had the skills in the ring. And I, I don't know, man. I, I felt like didn't really utilize his his star power, you know? Let me know if you agree with that. Fans liked Al Snow. And here we go. Let's see who's coming in. It's China. No way. Way to go, China. See how she did that? Here comes Val Venus. 
Val Venus at 21. Oh my. And now he's going right after Al Snow. Smart move there by Venus. Oh no! Look at the road dog. The road dog is stuck. Oh, pile driver there by Farouk. And now we're gonna see a suplex. Oh no, a knee. By the road dog on China. China crawling to the corner. Looking for a chance to recover. Who's coming in now? Prince Albert, the man of many piercings. It's Prince Albert is now, could China be done? Wow, look at the big guy here. Prince Albert, the biggest competitor in this ring. Let's see if the size is gonna help him here. He can do some damage. As long as he continues to mount an offense, he should get some eliminations. If he's smart, Prince Albert now, working on Val Venus, all oh, big boot. Kicking right through him. And now, oh no, oh, pulling the tights of China. <laughs> Down she goes. That's here comes Hardcore Holly. And now Val Venus. Oh, that would have been a key moment there because Albert seems to be rolling here. Hardcore Holly. Let me know, did you like Hardcore Holly or would you rather prefer Bob Sparkplug Holly? I kind of liked Hardcore Holly better. Man, and his physique changed, man. Taking the sauce does it like he looked like a totally different guy coming in here compared to seeing him as uh, spark plug holly but anyway back to the action china and jericho have been going back and forth china bust him wide open there is he wide open there was a flash when it flashes on the screen somebody got busted open let me see if you could tell but anyway val venus gets right back in Al Snow and Farouk. Nice. I like how Farouk doesn't hesitate on that move. Uh oh, but now he's going to the fun fair. Oh! <laughs> I always call that move that. Going to the fun fair. Because you know when you go to like a fair, rib fest, any type of uh, amusement park, you get your papa or your mom to get you on their shoulders <laughs> when you were a kid. <laughs> too funny, man. Way too funny. But anyway... Let's get back to this action. Farouk, oh no. Farouk and El Snow bumping heads. El Snow didn't like it, retaliates with the right hand. And now you got Y2J. I'm telling you, it's tunnel vision here. Jericho and China just battling each other. This entire rumble, they don't care about anything else but each other. And now Jericho, I wouldn't turn your back on China. You know China has a one-track mind. She's going to be coming after you at some point. But China decides to go after Road Dog. And now she's back at Jericho. See, that's what I'm saying. This is a this feud is just top-tier stuff. And now is she going to get the last laugh? Oh. Oh no, Jericho. Still in it. Al Snow's got to watch out for Albert. Albert getting a Oh, nice getting an elbow and then a neck breaker. Nice combo there by Snow. And now this ring is filled up. Nobody has an opportunity to just understand their surroundings. There's just too many people. And now, oh yeah! Val Venus, oh Val Venus gotta be careful. Val Venus almost eliminated himself. In WWE 2K22, the previous version, sometimes it would be um, botched animations where guys would get eliminated just because they would start their move in the corner and then it would just pop them out of the ring. It made for entertaining stuff, but it was kind of sad, especially when you're rooting for somebody and they get eliminated due to a botched animation. So, so let's see now what is going to happen here. Hardcore Holly and China. How about China? Confident as ever, but she, she's got to go for some eliminations here. Oh, speaking of elimination. Jericho's done, and Farouk is also done. Road Dog is done. Oh no! Oh, Holly, nice. Holly kind of got lucky there because he was kind of moonwalking back a little bit, and Albert tried to take him out, but he was not close to the ropes. Dropping him now. 
Right on the face. How about this? What a effort by China. Still inside this Royal Rumble. As we are awaiting the next entry. And who could the next entry be? We have to wait and see. The boys in the truck are sleeping on the clock. Look at this, Val Venus. Oh no, China. Why didn't she pursue that elimination? She wanted to go after, oh. Here we go. Oh, here comes The Rock. <laughs> and everybody was going nuts when The Rock came out. And the, the, the Rumble needed The Rock here at this point. They needed him to come in and kick butt and take names. As he DDTs Val Venus. Now he's going after the big guy, Albert. Prince Albert, good job with the head movement. Oh, nice job by Val Venus. Wow, look at this. Oh, pedigree there by China. What action. Here comes Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn at 25. Now, Billy Gunn lasted just under 10 minutes. Let's see if he could rewrite history here. Is Billy Gunn going to be going to WrestleMania? Or is it going to be Al Snow, China? Or Harker, Holly, Val Venus, Prince Albert, The Rock again? Who knows? we got to wait and see as the clock is continuing. And now The Rock. Oh, The Rock looked to be in trouble. Who is coming in at this point now? It's The Big Show. So here we go. The Big Show at 26. Oh, there goes... Oh, man. And this is the Big Show with hair. This wasn't Ball Big Show. Oh, and they're renewing acquaintances. The two guys that were in the finals. It's Billy Gunn holding the back of his head there. The two guys that were in the finals are now going against each other again. Wow. Big Show showing a lot of energy. And is he going to take out The Rock? Oh, big shot. Oh, he's waiting. He's waiting for The Rock, uh, I guess, for later. Oh, no. Parker Holly's out of there. Val Venus is out of there. The Rock getting caught by Prince Albert. Oh no. Oh, nice job by The Rock. So we're now down to five in the ring. Al Snow, who's logging in the minutes. China, who's been in there, seems like forever. China came in at 17. Okay. So let's see, Al Snow came in at 20. If you're wondering, Prince Albert, when did Prince Albert come in? Jeez, I, Prince Albert came at 22. Here we go, Bradshaw. A member of the Acolytes back in the day with Farouk and Bradshaw. This guy had the best clothesline. What was he thinking there? Going with the, the flying booty and he missed it. <laughs> and now, look at that. Big Show kind of tweaked that left leg. And now, nice little backbreaker there on Bradshaw. We got bodies on the floor. It's, uh oh. Oh no. China. Wow, see how she. She didn't really get a lot of air going over that top rope. Here we go. Kane at 28. I can't believe we're already this far into this rumble. I feel like it's just started. Oh no, The Rock getting squashed by Prince Albert. You gotta give it up for Prince Albert. Still inside this rumble as Kane came in and is stunned right away. Not the best entry, I would say, for Kane. But Kane needs to find a way. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> the Rock getting powerbombed. He needs to find a way to just recover here. Who's next? Oh, big splash. Here comes the Godfather. Is he to come in with his entourage? Oh, look at that shot to the Hulkamaniacs by Albert. Putting the Big Show in big trouble as the Godfather at 29. Could the Godfather do it? Could the Godfather punch his ticket to WrestleMania? Oh, The Rock. Oh, The Rock was a little late there on Bradshaw. Oh, wow. The Rock eliminates Prince Albert as we see a rake to the back there. By Kane. Every time I see the rake to the back, I think of my brother growing up. We would always do that move. But we always made it a rule. Always use the pads of your fingers. Never the nails, brother. 
Never the nails. You don't want to hurt your own brother or your friend. And don't try wrestling at home. Could lead to serious injuries. Uh, I could tell you stories, man, <laughs> of crazy things I did with my brothers. But anyway, back to the action. Somebody made a comment in one of my videos saying, every time Ricky says anyway, take a shot. And I'm like, do I really say anyway that many times? I gotta go back and think that. But anyway, I just said anyway. Oh no! <laughs> so the rock in the corner. He's. The, oh, he could be in some trouble. Bradshaw has the size to do it. X Pac. X Pac getting a gift at 30. So yeah, like I said in the beginning of this video, he shouldn't have eliminated Kane after getting eliminated himself. Nice slam there by The Rock. Oh, nice hip toss by Kane. So there's no more entries. China. Could China do it? Could China do the unthinkable? Oh, The Rock is stunned. Luckily, Al Snow kind of saved The Rock there by going right after Bradshaw. Wow, he dumped him on his head. And now The Rock. Oh, does not get the elimination on Al Snow. Respect to Al Snow for not giving up as things are heating up. Oh, signature Rock DDT. And now X-Pac. Oh, <laughs> isn't China part of DX? How could she do that to her old buddy? And now she's gonna suplex him. And the two finalists from the actual Rumble are fighting each other in the middle of the ring. Oh, nice job by The Rock, grabbing that ankle and twisting that leg. You got to get the big show off of his feet. That's the key to beating him. I know it's hard to do, but got to get him off his feet. You got to work him the best you can as now The Rock to the corner. Oh, nice job putting the old forearms up to stop that, stop that chop to the chest. And now executing a backbreaker. Oh, Bradshaw gets up right away. Rock's got to be careful. Oh, he takes out the legs out of him. Let's see what's going to happen. Big shot there by The Rock on Bradshaw. And Al Snow again. Al Snow still inside this rumble. Just doing incredible work. Going after the Godfather. Oh, where's he trying to throw him to? Nice. He thought about throwing him to the corner, noticed all the traffic, brought him back, and uh, was able to execute an offensive move. And now, perfect plex there by The Rock on X-Pac. And now the, the Rock and Big Show meeting each other again. And The Rock is serving out buffets of DDTs to everybody, but he's got to watch out for The Godfather. The Godfather going right behind him. And now is he going to throw him out? Oh, it looks like he's going to be gone. No. Nice job by the Godfather and smart move by The Rock. That is high-level stuff. Not trying to get up, but just sliding your way out of traffic and trying to recover as the Godfather going for a nice little slow stroll into the middle, middle of the ring. He finds X-Pac. Oh, but he decides to walk away from him. Bad mistake by the Godfather. And now x getting thrown to the corner. Big Show breathing heavy in that corner. But luckily, everybody's kind of fighting in front of him. And The Rock getting sent to the corner. Oh, The Rock could be done. It looks like The Rock may be done here. And x as well. The Rock. Oh, look at this. Is he going to stay? Oh, there goes X-Pac. X-Pac is done. So now, holy smokes here. Oh, now the big show. Oh, I was going to say, could Al Snow shock the world here and eliminate the big show? He doesn't get it yet. And, um, oh, my gosh, China and Kane, if you've been following my videos, are uh, <laughs> meeting again, let's just say. And Kane, oh nice, wow. He put his whole body into that power bomb. And China getting to that corner. These competitors are now just so spent as The Rock. The Rock doesn't know where to go here. Well, he decides to go after China. 
not giving China a chance to recover. So who's he gonna go after? Oh no, the Godfather's got him. And how about this, Al Snow? Turning around the big guy, Al Snow needs help. Al Snow needs help here. But there's nobody in sight to help him. Wow, oh and now Kane. Oh. Oh, look at this. Double choke slam. Done. Oh. It doesn't look like Bradshaw is going to be done. Man, respect to Al Snow. He is undersized here. Also, respect to China, of course. But we've got some big bodies in here. And they're holding their own. Just staying inside this ring. And when you stay in this ring long enough, Anything is possible. Anything could happen inside these Royal Rumbles. As now, could Big Show? Oh no. Bradshaw, now Bradshaw's gonna try to, oh, is he gonna get him? What happened there? A head shake. Bradshaw had him. And what's going on? Oh no, Kane is done. Kane just looked out of sorts. He looked out of sorts. And now, could the Big Show... What is this? The Brahma Bull has eliminated the Big Show. <laughs> this Rumble, I'm telling you. <laughs> These Rumbles are way too fun. Is he going to eliminate Bradshaw? What? Oh, he's deciding to... Oh, go with the knee. And now, The Rock. I'm telling you, he is in a full sweat. He is absolutely spent. He doesn't know. Well, he doesn't know where to go, but he's got to deal with China. He's got to deal with Al Snow, the Godfather, Bradshaw. And Al Snow saving The Rock yet again. As The Rock on the receiving end of a clothesline. And a super kick there by China. Oh, but then on the receiving end, a kick by Bradshaw. Let's see what happens. One mistake could cost these competitors their opportunity to go to what we're gonna do on this channel, the Champions Rumble. We're gonna put 30 winners into one ring at the end of all this and crown the ultimate champion. How about this, China and The Rock working against Al Snow. Nice side headlock there by The Godfather. This final five have put together championship caliber performances. As The Rock taking a bit of a break. And now China. Oh, nice with the left hand this time. Executing. And now Godfather. Is he going to take her out? He's got the size. He's got the strength. Does China have the will to stay in this thing? Yet again. Oh, he's putting a lot of effort into... Oh, he's booted her out. Oh, and there goes Bradshaw. We're down to the final three. Al Snow. The Godfather and The Rock. And The Rock. Not, it seems like The Rock, when he's in trouble, man, he's going with that DDT. That's his comfort zone. That's his ability to gain the momentum. And speaking of momentum, he's got it right here as his competitors, both of them on the mat. Al Snow could be in some trouble. Oh, oh he's got to be careful. Oh, that was almost a good thing for The Rock because that would have given The Godfather a chance to kind of ambush him and eliminate him himself. Smart move by The Rock. Oh, no, he's getting right up. The Rock seems dazed. Oh, Al Snow showing his strength. And he's deciding to go after The Rock. Oh, The Rock playing possum. The Rock was playing possum. <laughs> wow, Samoan drop. Is that what it's called? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no. Is he going to actually... Does, it, does the wristband... Act, oh, he didn't throw the wristband into the stands. People's elbow. He's got to pick him up. But deciding to continue to work on him. Oh. And the Godfather. With the clothesline. And now the Godfather. He's going to give him a knee. No. Oh, he's got him stunned. Oh, nice. Tight little elbow being dropped, and The Rock looks to be done with. Oh, but Al Snow saves him again. Al Snow 
keeps on saving the rock. And when is the rock going to save El Snow? Here he goes. Nice elbow there by the rock. But decides to go after Al Snow. Maybe that he feels like that's the easier option here. He's going to give him a knee to the kisser. Oh, there it is. And now he's waking up the Godfather. <laughs> what a final three we're witnessing here on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, man, please subscribe for more of these wacky videos. The Rock does it. We got the finals. Al Snow and The Rock. The Rock has him in a stunned state. What is he doing? Oh, he has the brass knuckles. He busted out the brass knuckles. I've never seen that before. Cheat, lie, and steal. What do they say? If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But he busted out the brass knuckles. He had it in his tights. What shocking events we're seeing here on YouTube. I've never seen that in uh, how many rumbles. But it doesn't seem to phase. Nice slam by Al Snow. It doesn't seem to phase Al Snow. And could Al Snow shock the WWE Universe to the corner? No way. This will be shocking stuff. And The Rock is stunned. He still survives. Oh, but nice quick hands there by Al Snow. Wow, I'm still stunned over how <laughs> he busted at the brass knuckles. He hit him with the left hand, and now it could be over. Back body drop. Al Snow's got to continue this onslaught. Nice. Little spine buster. And now The Rock is stunned. This is shocking stuff and a chop. And now is it over? No, he's kind of playing with his food here. Al Snow had opportunities, and now he's staring at him. He's going to look to boot him in the face here. He has him where he wants him, and The Rock, again, putting the block up. And now The Rock not wasting any time. What are we going to see here? No! No! Al Snow had it, but it's The Rock <laughs> repeating. And winning the 2000 Rumble. Dude, man, I'm telling you. This is just way too fun, man. It's way too fun. I love making these videos for moments like this. How crazy. Shenanigans, man. Shenanigans with the brass knuckles, and then Al Snow having the opportunity but playing with his food, and then The Rock coming back and eliminating him to win this one yet again. Couldn't have scripted a better ending. Anyhow, guys, I'll catch you the next one. Way too fun. It's Ricky J, man. Love you all. Thank you so much for the support, and have an awesome day. See you later. Wow.